Have you ever wondered what it would be like if our national leaders engaged in debates based on facts, or made decisions based on evidence, or lived in a political world based on truth? I did. I'm Nate Link, the medical director at Bellevue, a 300-year-old safety net hospital in New York City. In my healthcare world, my medical practice and leadership role are steeped in evidence. Why? Because they can't afford not to be. After all, patients' lives are at stake. But in our political world of national leadership, much more is at stake, the lives of millions of Americans. All the more reason for national decisions to be based on facts, evidence, truth. The evidence-based culture of my healthcare world needs to cross over to the corridors of power in Washington. And I believe that we, the voters, can make this happen. In this introductory video, I would like to share what I aim to achieve on this YouTube channel, on my website, and in my book, The Ailing Nation. In short, evidence-based politics. Let me start at Ground Zero, Bellevue Hospital, the venue for my development as a physician leader and the setting for the stories of my book. Of course, the views I express are mine alone and do not represent my hospital or its management. Bellevue was born in 1736 as an almshouse in Lower Manhattan. Over many decades that followed, Bellevue grew in size and purpose until it became a full-fledged hospital complex by the mid-1800s. As the major public hospital of New York City, and our nation really, Bellevue contributed many firsts to American medicine the first hospital-based ambulance service, and the first maternity ward. It boasted a renowned surgical amphitheater and produced many breakthroughs in surgical technique and continued to grow in size and importance. Here is Bellevue in 1939, and here is Bellevue today. Throughout its history, Bellevue has been at the epicenter of every major epidemic in New York, from smallpox to yellow fever, from typhus to tuberculosis, from AIDS to Ebola, and now, of course, COVID-19. An essential feature of Bellevue has always been its position as a frontline hospital for healthcare disasters in New York City. What a perfect place to learn the lessons of leadership. Early in my medical career, I became involved in a grassroots movement known as evidence-based medicine. The goal of an evidence-based approach is to rest treatment decisions on hard facts that are gathered carefully through a rigorous process of scientific investigation so that medical decisions can rest on a solid foundation of confirmed information. In other words, the truth. Before the 1980s, the state of evidence in medicine was not so healthy. Physicians got most of their information from textbooks, which were full of opinions and speculation. Hospitals were very hierarchical, and differences of opinion at the bedside were resolved by rank. Senior physicians ruled over juniors who outranked the residents and students. Usually, the most experienced professor had the final word. Even worse, sometimes at the bedside, differences of opinion were settled by personality. Whoever spoke the most definitively and confidently, or the most loudly and obnoxiously, carried the day. Worst of all was the Trumpian alpha male who blustered made-up facts with absolute conviction and lured unsuspecting colleagues into this pretend world of truth. Evidence-based medicine replaced this might-makes-right approach with a new paradigm, a world in which facts rule over opinions and evidence drives out speculation. In this world, there is no room for fake news. So what does all this have to do with politics? I believe that our world of national leadership is stuck in the same place my medical world was in when I came of age in the 1980s, when the truth was determined by whoever grabbed the microphone, when the hierarchy ruled the day when fake news found its way into every conversation. So much so that it was hard to tell what was right and what was wrong. In fact, our current political world is in even worse shape because there are dark forces at play that threaten to drown out the truth and replace it with a false paradigm that serves their own purposes. How do we steer our way out of this mess? Is there any hope for the truth? I submit to you that evidence-based politics is not only possible, but that we the people should expect no less. After all, as the board of directors of our nation, we have the ultimate responsibility for its well-being, which we exercise through our selection of national leaders in the voting booth. No other decision we make deserves to be informed by facts more than this political one. In my video essay on evidence-based politics, I explain how to find those facts and how to use them. So subscribe to my channel, visit my website, and read my book. 
Come along for an exhilarating ride, a journey toward the truth on the defining issues of our time. Supply-side economics, income inequality, campaign financing, climate change, racism in healthcare, and the COVID pandemic are a few of the topics that benefit from a clear objective review of the best available evidence. We can discover together the impact of tax policy on jobs, the influence of campaign donations on policy, the best way to address a pandemic, and the system defects in our democracy. On this voyage, there is no space for propaganda. On this expedition, there's no room for fake news. All I ask is that you keep an open mind as we take this journey together. Evidence-based politics, it is not only possible, it is a democratic imperative.